my channel so for today's video guys i would like to share to you my ielts experience so last year october 16 2020 i took my first ielts exam sa cebu philippines yung ielts ko guys i took it sa idp i took it with idp philippines sa cebu city so sa my capital building dun sa um, Ayala. So for today, um, I'm, I'm going to share to you kung ano yung ginawa ko as preparation and then my mga tips and then mga results and expectations and reality nung nag-take ako sa exam. But before anything else guys, please be sure na mag-subscribe na sa aking channel. So guys, disclaimer pala, um, I am not an expert, I am not an agent, or whatever. So lahat ng mga sasabihin ko dito is all about my experience or based on my experience only. So kung makakatulong ito, then very good. Kung hindi, you can also watch other YouTube videos. Lalo na kasi may mga YouTube videos guys na pang IELTS talaga siya. So, I recommend you na mag-search din kayo nun, manood din kayo nun, kasi marami din talagang um, tulong yon or malaking tulong din talaga yon So, guys, we have two testing agents or like agents kung saan kayo pwede mag-take ng IELTS. It's either IDP or um, British Columbia ata yung tawag. And dun ako sa IDP nag-take. It doesn't matter kung saan ka mag-take, more or less, the same lang naman talaga sila. So, there are also two types of tests. We have the computer-delivered test and the paper-based test. Guys, kung uh, mapapansin nun na parang tumitingin ako dito kasi parang may tinitingnan ako na notes. So, just don't mind it. <laughs> so, yung kinuha ko guys is the computer delivered test. Kasi, um, nung kinuha ko yun, parang time limited na kasi ako guys. Kasi, yung first plan ko talaga bago ako pumunta dito sa Canada is pumunta sa Australia. And then, I did not expect na yung application ko parang, parang matatanggap agad-agad. Nung natanggap ako sa school, parang, oh sige, kailangan ganito. Dapat, ma-take mo na agad as soon as possible kasi daw baka maubusan ng slots, dapat mag um, makakuha na, tapos magbayad na ng tuition fee and stuff. Ayun, I only had 3 to 4 weeks I guess na preparation para mag-take ng IELTS. But before that guys, parang nagre-review na din ako. Pero parang hindi lang yung alam nyo yun, parang review na parang hindi naman kasi pressure din. Nung parang okay, take your time. Pero nung pagkasabi na, okay, kailangan mo talagang kumuha ng IELTS, yung parang 3 to 4 weeks na lang talaga yun. Nagmamadali ako, kaya kailangan makuha ko na agad yung result ng IELTS ko. For the computer delivered test, makukuha lang siya in, within 3 to 5 days yung result. Um, paper based daw, aabot na mga 14 days, 13 days, parang mga ganun. Another thing din pala guys, yung disadvantage din sa paper based is sa writing daw, kailangan maganda yung penmanship mo. Hindi naman sa so sobrang ganda, pero at least maganda kasi some of the, ang tawag nyo, parang mag-check. Minsan, nagmamatter din yung penmanship mo kasi syempre, kung hindi hindi nila mabasa, so ba paano nila um, bibigyan ng grades. I am a first-time taker, so guys, kung first-time takers din kayo, don't worry guys. Ako, hindi talaga ako magaling sa English kahit sa elementary, kahit sa high school. Kahit sa college, guys, isa talaga sa lowest grades ko, English talaga. So, don't worry, guys. So, dun nga, sa in ko na school, tatanggapin nila na IELTS is at least 7. So, yun yung goal ko. So, bago pala kayo kumuha ng IELTS, guys, dapat alam nyo yung goal nyo, yung at least anong band score na kailangan nyo. Kasi different schools, different countries, different courses, different um, band scores din yung kailangan for your IELTS. So, yung sa akin, guys, um, overall, 7 and dapat walang less than 7 yung grade. So, as I said, guys, nagmamadali ako nung nag-take ako. So, around 2 to 4 weeks lang ata. Parang ganun, 3 weeks lang ata yung preparation ko. But I recommend, guys, na more than 3 weeks, more than a month, 
or like siguro mga 2 to 3 months siguro yung preparation nyo kasi kung gusto nyo na ta talaga na parang hindi ka ma-pressure yung hindi ka parang sasabog na yung utak mo <laughs> kasi de ba so i recommend na siguro a month or more dapat ka talaga mag-review kahit self-review so ako guys nag-enroll ako sa agency na parang review center pero hindi ko nga kasi nagamit kasi procrastination is real so hindi ko siya nagamit and I will not say anong um, review center yung kinuha ko kasi I honestly don't recommend their service guys kasi parang 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 sa akin lang buti pa siguro nag, nag self review na lang ako like completely para sa akin lang guys ha parang hindi siya masyadong nakatulong o yung nag, nangyari sa akin YouTube University <laughs> Yun lang talaga guys, so mag-search kayo ng mga YouTube videos. And guys, speaking of YouTube videos, so I will put um, on the description box below my recommended uh, YouTube tutorials. Sila yung parang naka-help talaga sa akin sa self-review ko. Mga channels na I highly recommend na isubscribe ninyo o kaya dun kayo kumuha ng mga resources. So for my expectations guys, in-expect ko talaga na yung reading, yung ECS, kasi ba may four yon reading, writing, listening, and speaking. So para sa akin, nung before ako nag-take, sabi ko, ah, ECS to kasi reading, ba Magbabasa ka lang though, kailangan ng comprehension, and then of course, time pressure, but para sa akin that time, reading was the ECS, and then writing, and then listening, and then para sa akin talaga, speaking is the hardest, kasi nga, um, yung background ko, educational background ko guys, hindi ako masyadong nakakapagsalita in English, hindi kas ako masyado sa movies, parang ganun, so parang yung vocabulary ko, parang minimal lang talaga. So, dun, para sa akin yung speaking talaga yung hardest. Sa listening din, kasi nga guys, medyo bingi ako. <laughs> so, parang siya yung second hardest ko. And then, sa reality guys, or sa result, so based sa, my, sa result ko sa IELTS, ang um, highest ko is listening, and then reading, and then speaking, and then yung lowest ko guys is writing. So, I will put it here, yung mga band scores ko. Kasi nakalimutan ko na talaga guys. Kasi it's already June, mag-July na, mag-July 2021 na, and I took it October 2020. So, ilalagay ko dito yung um, result ko. So, overall, I got 7.5 na band scores. Pero hindi rin ako natuloy sa Australia guys. Kasi may 6.5 ako, which is the writing. Pwede naman ako na mag-retake pero maraming mga <laughs> kinonsider din ako. So, yun. Dito ako sa Canada and yung mga chikang iba dyan. Another video ko na explain kung bakit ako napunta dito and not Australia. Maybe another video. If you want to, just comment down below. <laughs> so, ang purpose nga ng video na ito is for the tips. So, I have here some tips, guys. So, first is use free resources. As I said, guys, Kung gusto nyo, pwede kayong mag-review center, why not? Pero, yun nga, may bayad, di ba? Tapos, masasabi ko talaga, guys, kaya, kaya talaga yung self-review lang. So, use free resources, ang mga YouTube tutorials, may mga free online readings and practices, mga webinars. I can put it below then guys. So, please, 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 Check the description box. Marami akong gifts sa inyo doon. We also have like free apps and websites. Ilalagay ko din sa baba. You can click it or you can search it on sa phone ninyo. Mga apps and websites. Then guys, here are my tips for the listening part. So I have like three major um, tips. So first is guess the answer. Pag nag-start na yung listening exam guys, May maririnig kayong mga instructions na parang, okay, you have 30 seconds to um, check the questions. So parang yun, basahin nyo yun. Guys, use that time na i-read nyo yung mga um, questions. In that time, parang magkaka-idea kayo ano yung question about. So like for example, title ba ng book? or address ba, or number ba, or pangalan ba ng tao. Kas malalaman nyo yun. So, pag narinig nyo, oh, parang may na-mention, o oh, baka ito yung answer, parang ganun. And then, number two, do not go back. So, sa listening na exam, guys, sunod-sunod yon So, number one is ito, number two is ito. Parang makikinig, ma makikinig nyo, mar mapapakinggan nyo yon <laughs> 
So, ayun, napapakinggan nyo yun. So, kunwari, natapos na yung question, huwag nyo nang balikan, parang, ah, oh, ano yun? Move on, guys, move on. <laughs> so, move on na. So, na, do not go back. Move on na. Kung hindi nyo nyo nakuha, leave it blank. Or kung gusto nyo mag-guess, then it's fine. Just move on sa next. In connection din yan sa pangatlong tips ko, guys. My third um, tip would be read ahead. So, for example, may limang questions, guys. Kung binabasa nyo yung number one, basahin nyo na din yung number two. Para pag nabasa, pag narinig nyo yung number two, it means na miss nyo na yung number one. So, wag nyo nang balik answer number 2, tapos basahin yung number 3, while naghihintay kayo sa answer number 2, basahin yung number 3 tapos, after number 2, basahin na yung number 4 para pag napakinggan yung 3, yung parang ganun. Read ahead para pag alam nyo na nabasa na yung next question, meaning na-miss na nyo na yung isa, wag nyo nang intindihin yun. Kung gusto nyo mag-guess, isulat nyo, pero wag nyo nang intindihin guys. Kung tapos na, tapos na. <laughs> And then guys, sa listening then especially sa last part, usually, um, hindi siya yung word by word. So, basahin nyo talaga yung question. Kasi minsan, yung question guys, hindi siya fill in the blanks. Parang minsan, basahin nyo yung question, tapos may hihingi na one or two words na yun yung answer. Pero hindi gagamitin yung exact words sa sinabi. So, kunwari, the message, pero yung sinabi is the point. Yung parang ganun. So, basahin nyo yung whole question, ano yung idea ng question, ano yung hinihingi. Tapos, kasi ya, hindi gagamit ng exactly the same word. So, intindihin nyo yung question, intindihin nyo yung sinasabi kung pwede siya mag-match. So, here are my tips sa reading section. So, I have three uh, main tips then para sa reading section. So, number one is do not read the whole text. Especially guys, sa first, kasi mostly, parang ganun talaga, tatlong uh, sections yun. So, para sa akin, it's easy. Tapos yung second, um, average. And then yung third is difficult. So, para sa akin guys, bigyan nyo ng time, kasi parang one hour ata. Bigyan nyo na lang ng siguro mga 15 minutes, yung first. I mean like, 10 minutes, and then 20 minutes, and then 30 minutes. Kasi para sa akin, mahirap yung part 3. And madali lang yung part 1. So, bigyan nyo ng more time yung part 3. So, yun nga, do not read the whole text. Basahin nyo muna yung question, tapos hanapin nyo doon sa, hanapin nyo doon sa passage or sa text. And yung pangalawa ko naman is, answers are found in order. So, again guys, kung yung question na yun, Kunwari, three paragraphs. So, yung question one, nasa one, paragraph one. Yung question two, nasa paragraph two. So, yung question three, hindi yun pwede na nasa paragraph one pa rin siya. So, it must be paragraph two or sa the rest of the text. Usually, ganun siya, guys. The questions are found in order. And then, guys, also, kung wari, may number one na kayo na answer, tapos number two, hindi nyo makita. Tapos number three, nakita nyo sa third paragraph. So, most probably, yung answer na number two is nasa second paragraph. So, ganun yung sinasabi ko, guys, para hindi nyo babalik-balikin yung pagbasa ng text. And also, guys, meron ding questions na, um, what is the idea of the message? Or, I, I mean, the passage, what is the message? Yung parang anong mood ng passage. So, kailangan nyo talagang basahin guys as fast as possible wag nyo um, wag nyo idibdib masyado guys basta as fast as possible with comprehension tapos yun wag uh, basahin nyo na lang wala kayong choice <laughs> and then the third and the most important guys review 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 if you have time kasi minsan dahil nagmamadali tayo guys parang na Na, parang nahahalo-halo na yung information so baka yung nasa isip natin A pero yung na, nalagay natin B so dapat review your answers review, review, review kung may time pa and also guys there are a lot of tricky questions like gaya lang din yung sa exam sa school lang sasabihin natin what is uh, yung question is what is not blah 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 pero yung kasi nagmamadali tayo guys so akala natin what is blah 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 so diba yung parang ganun always be careful sa what is not parang cannot what is the least or the mga blah 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 except yung mga ganun be careful din sa mga questions na yun and then guys, let's go now to the um, writing section. So I have here, I guess five. Yes, I have five tips here. So number one is get evaluated. So kahit sabi ko guys na pwede kayong walang, walang review center, but siguro may kakilala kayo na teachers. Guys, this is 
I am not saying English teachers, no. They cannot help you. Look for IELTS, um, IELTS teacher talaga, guys. Kasi yung IELTS and English exam, they are totally different, guys. Okay? So, wag kayong maghanap ng English teacher. Maghanap kayo ng IELTS teacher. And get evaluated. Kasi, guys, kahit pa 100 um, practices na yung uh, nasulat nyo, 100 writings na, uh, I mean, practice para sa writing ninyo kung hindi kayo na-evaluate guys paulit-ulit yung mistake na gagawin nyo kaya get evaluated para alam nyo kung saan kayo magaling, kung saan kayo weak kung saan kayo need mag-improve okay, get evaluated and also guys, know the structure of the test so, ang IELTS guys, my academic and my general so, be sure na alam nyo kung academic ba yung kukunin nyo or the general. Most of the time, mas mahirap yung academic na um, writing na test. And iba din yung structure, guys. Parang mas simpler yung questions. And iba talaga yung question, guys. Kasi mostly, general IELTS, I guess, mostly ano lang yung parang descriptive. Or describe this one, uh, like the instructions, or give instructions, or parang ganun. How are you gonna... Uh, for example, magbibigay ka ng instruction sa paano pumunta dito, parang gano'n. But sa academic IELTS, more on argumentative. So, bibigyan ka ng topic, i-discuss mo yun. So, kailangan alam mo paano i-discuss, anong uunahin mo, yung parang gano'n. So, know the structure of the test and the type of the test. And the number three, guys, practice, practice, practice talaga, guys. Kung meron kayong, para sa akin, kung meron kayong dapat talaga na bibigyan nyo na most of the time ng practice ninyo or ng review ninyo yung writing talaga guys writing talaga practice 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 para alam nyo paano mag magsulat ng nasa pressure yung alam nyo yun parang hindi lang na nagsusulat ka under pressure na parang ano-ano lang sinusulat mo so dapat alam mo yung strength mo gawin mo yun and then yung weaknesses mo iwasan mo yun and then number four Use wide vocabulary. So, dapat as much as possible, alam mo yung mga synonyms. Like, for example, said. Kunwari, said. Hindi mo palaging sasabihin. Um, fell, said. Fell, said. Fell, said. Said, fell. Whatever. So, dapat meron fell described, fell defined, fell stated, fell mentioned. Yung mga ganun. So, dapat marami kayong bao na mga words. And, of course, phrases. And guys, ito talaga ang pinaka-important na sasabihin ko sa inyo kasi dito talaga ako nagkamali. Okay? So, learn from my mistake. Be mindful of the time. Palagi kasi guys, kung magtitake kayo ng computer-based exam, sa taas nung screen, may nakalagay doon kung ilang minutes na lang yung remaining. So, dapat palagi kayo nakatingin. And then, sa suggestion kasi ng iba... Kasi may two types of exam. So, sa sinasuggest nila na 20 minutes lang daw. Kasi 60 minutes yon 20 minutes lang daw sa first part. And then, 40 minutes for the second part. Kasi yung first part, one-third of the grade lang yon Yung second part, two-thirds of the grade. So, yon Dun kayo mag-focus sa number two. Yung nangyari sa akin, guys, hindi ko na malayan yung time. It's mga 35 minutes na parang hindi pa ako tapos sa first part. So, parang, oh, sa second part, parang nagmamadali na ako. So, yun nangyari sa akin, guys. Mga 20 minutes na lang yung um, na remaining time para sagutan ko yung second part. And, of course, parang nagmamadali ka na, napapressure ka na, hindi ka na makaisip ng ma maayos. Natapos ko siya, pero hindi na talaga ako nakapag-review. And, nung time na natapos na siya, parang may papalitan pa dapat ako na word kasi wrong spelling, pero wala na guys, hindi ko na talaga napalitan. So, be mindful of the time. Palagi niyong i-check yung time. Parang wala lang namang one second. Ganun lang naman yun, ba? So, check your time. And of course, guys, proofread. Okay? Kung magre-review kayo, proofread. Now, I am going to tell you some of the tips sa speaking part naman. So, yung number one tip ko, guys, is relax. Do not get distracted. Yung um, examiner, guys, it's either Filipino, it's either Australian, it's either Canadian, or British, or ano pa. Just relax. Pag nakakita ko, puti, ayoko. <laughs> Parang ganun, guys. No. No, guys. Kasi may nagsabi nga sa akin, it's better that yung foreigner yung mag uh, yung examiner niyo kasi aminin natin di ba minsan yung mga Filipino ano din perfectionist 
So sabi nila better daw na foreigner yung mag take uh, mag yung examiner mo but in my case Filipino siya so parang uh, okay <laughs> guys again do not get distracted kasi minsan parang nakaka insecure yung parang nakaka Okay, please sit down. Parang ganun guys, so huwag kayong ma-distract. Huwag kayong ma-stress, huwag kayong ma-pressured. Ilagay nyo yung utak nyo dyan. Huwag kayong mag-isip ng ano-ano, okay? And then number two guys is keep an eye contact. Kahit hindi nakatingin sa inyo yung examiner, kunwari nakatingin siya sa likod mo, kunwari nakatingin siya sa paligid, tumingin ka sa kanya, tumingin ka sa mata niya, para pagtingin niya, nakatingin siya. Kasi guys, minsan din, yung mga ibang examiner, dinidistract kayo. Kunwari, tinitingnan kayo head to toe, parang, oh, tinitingnan ako. <laughs> so, wag kayo ma-distract guys. So, tingmingin lang kayo sa mata, kung tumingin siya sa likod nyo, baka titingin ko, ano ba yun? So, wag ganun guys. Focus lang talaga sa kanya. Number three, be prepared to talk about all random topics any random topics very very random talaga minsan yung questions guys so kung magre-review kayo lahat ng sumagi sa isip nyo mag-prepare kayo ng answers guys kasi super random lang talaga guys very 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 random yung mga questions mostly about your experiences in life or yung para mga nangyayari sa mundo or mga issues kung pwede kung may time kayo makinig kayo sa mga news kasi guys tama or mali yung sagot nyo it's not about your answer it's not about the accuracy of your answer, it's about your vocabulary, it's about how you deliver it, dapat i-deliver mo as natural as you can itatanong yung opinion mo, guys kung yung mali yung opinion nyo, sa, sa opinion niya, hindi yun magmamatter guys, iba-iba tayo ng opinions and again, it's not about your answer, it's not about ano yung paninindigan mo or your principle in life, it's not about that, it's about your vocabulary and how you speak, your grammar and your accuracy sa not sa answer but sa mga words na gagamitin mo. So again, sabi ko sa inyo, be a natural speaker. Talk in a normal speed. Wag yung <laughs> or ka, um 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 wag ganun guys. Be a natural speaker. Yung parang parang nagigipag-usap lang kayo. No, parang ganito. Yung parang <laughs> <laughs> and number five. Watch English movies or news or shows, TV shows. So, pwede kayo manood ng Netflix. Guys, kung into K-drama kayo, mamaya na yung K-drama, guys. So, kung mag netflix kayo, kung mag-YouTube kayo, kung may pinafollow kayo na YouTubers na Tagalog, o oh, mamaya na yan, guys. Doon muna tayo sa English. Also, read um, English um, articles, read English um, like stories, o kaya mga English books, YouTube na English, para may mga new words din kayo. Kahit makikinig lang tayo, minsan nagagaya din kasi natin yung accent. So, parang natural speaker na din tayo, ba? Diba? So, again, yung pinaka-important para sa akin na tips is practice, 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 guys. Kahit mag-practice lang kayo, kahit kausap nyo yung sarili nyo, and then itime nyo kung, kunwari, 2 minutes lang, o kaya 30 seconds lang, itime nyo yung self ninyo kung how fast can you think and then kumuha kayo ng maraming questions and then try to answer all of them na parang kahit outline lang o kahit idea lang kung ano yung sasabihin nyo kasi dapat makaisip kayo agad ng sagot kasi pag kunwari binigay na yung sagot kunwari what is your favorite color or what is your favorite book tapos um what is your favorite um um um, um. hindi pwede ganun guys kasi may time and paano naging natural speaker yung um 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 di ba <laughs> so yun and also guys di ba hindi naman talaga lahat ng Filipinos um nagsasalita ng English maliban na lang kung siguro dun sa bahay ninyo English talaga sa inyo pero yung ginawa ko guys kasi sa bahay namin hindi naman kami English So, I'm from Cebu. So, mga Bisaya kami. Pati yung mga friends ko, mga Bisaya kami. So, yung ginawa ko, guys, sabi ko, in in this time, kasi 2 to 3 weeks lang naman yun, diba? So, sabi ko sa family ko, as much as possible, English muna tayo lahat. Pati sa mga friends ko, sa mga chat, English muna tayo lahat. Ayoko muna ng mga Tagalog, ayoko muna ng mga Bisaya or anong language yan. English muna tayo, guys. And it will really help you. Kasi yung, yung mindset mo, yung parang kahit nakatingin ka lang, English na hindi na Tagalog, hindi ka na, hindi mo na need na mag-translate pa. And also guys, kung meron kayong mga friends na English speakers talaga, you can also ask them to give you questions para mag-cook mag 
mag-Q&A kayo guys na parang since you're an English speaker so pakinggan mo kung ano ba natural na ba ako magsalita correct my grammar correct my pronunciation yung flow ba maganda na ba yung parang nakikipag-usap na ba ako sa yung yung English speaker talaga yung native speaker na talaga so yun din guys you can call makipag-usap kayo in English talaga this is to enhance your grammar or your pronunciation so, I guess yun lang about yung video ko, guys. So, sabi ko nga, you don't need a review center. Pwede kayong mag-self-review. Please check the description box below. May mga ilalagay ako doon na mga links, mga suggestions, mga tips, mga YouTube videos, o lahat-lahat ng mga, na na for me, nakatulong sa akin nung nag-review ako sa IELTS, ilalagay ko. And then, if you have questions, guys, don't hesitate to put it on the comment box. Again, YouTube videos, guys. Tutorials. Palagi nyo talagang gamitin yon. Use free resources. So, I hope this video helps you in your preparation sa inyong IELTS exam. Good luck on your exam. Pray, guys. Do your best. If you like this video, don't forget to like. And then, don't forget to subscribe. And also, hit the notification bell. So, if you want also to learn about um, life as an international student here in Canada, you can also check my other videos i hope you're doing well be happy be safe get vaccinated bye bye